as you can swallow, lots of things that used to sound like science fiction are well on their way to reality. Next thing you know, we'll have nanobots patrolling our blood for pathogens. To talk more about the exciting new area of micromedicine, we're joined by an expert in the field, Thomas Felten from the Fraunhofer Institute. Thanks for joining us here today. What do you think? Will the scalpel and other invasive procedures soon be a thing of the past? Well, I think we will see more of these things in future, that's for sure. At the moment, a lot of uh, research activities are going on in this field, and a lot of robots for surgery, for example, uh, are developed at the moment. Many things are imaginable in the field of micromedicine. You've brought an artificial tooth with you. Explain to us what that can do. Yes, it's a medical device for people suffering from dry mouth. And, um, this uh, small and tiny tooth contains an electrostimulator, which stimulates uh, salivary glands, leading to uh, producing saliva. And if you stimulate them, then, and, uh, then they produce more and more saliva. And your mouth is no longer uh, dry, but will become wet. And uh, to stop the wetness, if it increases too much, uh, it also contains a small sensor, a wetness sensor, which uh, in a closed loop will uh, tell the system to stop the simulation. There's also been a lot of um, research recently into dispensing mechanisms for micromedicine. What can you tell us about the, the situation there? The drug delivery system is a very hot topic. We have to develop such a system together with other partners, which is also placed in the mouth, like the system I've shown. But there are also uh, patches, which you know, nicotine patches, for example, and more sophisticated uh, things which can really be implanted into your body. How were these miniature devices being powered? Where's the energy source? Well, first of all, they are powered by batteries. But there are some other systems. They are powered wirelessly, for example, by uh, electromagnetic fields. But uh, I think in future it will still be the batteries uh, which power these systems and uh, also batteries will improve. And so this should be no problem to have them in the body for a long time. Let's look ahead to the future. Do you think that there will come a day when human surgeons and human doctors are, are no longer needed, when, when all of our uh, ails can be treated by robots? I cannot imagine this. I think robots can do some things, but uh, they, I think they will never replace uh, physicians. That's good news for all the doctors out there. All right, Thomas Feiten, thank you very much for joining us You're here welcome. today.